Hey guys, for today's video, I'm going to be playing Zin Zhao on the PB, and he is being reworked into an AP god. So basically, his W, his E, and his ult now all have AP ratios. I think W and E had it before, but like now the passive ratio is stronger. R has an 110% AP ratio, and I think with this build setup I'm going to have, uh, he's going to be pretty strong. So, I played a, uh, a game with it already, and I was um, able to go in and out of fights pretty easily. And look at this W range. So, I'm going to show you two in a second. But look at that. I can play from really far back and, and hit this Garen, no problem. And just uh, stack up mana flip bands, stack up uh, any, get a little bit of farm. And basically, we're going to play the early game, like, pretty safe. Alright, let's go and relax. Let me get this real quick. And, uh... Basically, we're gonna be like a spell caster Zen, so it's not like... It's not like old AP Zen. Where basically you're, um... You're just building an on-hit AP build with Nasher's Tooth. This AP Zen is about building a bunch of ability haste and comboing your... Um, your W and, and abilities very quickly. So, I'll show you a couple combos, but basically... Um, once you get some ability haste, you're gonna W, you're gonna Q minions twice, you're gonna E into your opponent, knock him up into another W, uh, into like phase rushing away. Will join me. Which is basically like the full combo for like a full trade. Already. Loving the new which videos is with pretty Eddie. insane. You both rock. Hey, thank you, Alberta. Oh man, I missed. Thanks for the sub. I, I, I was looking at your, your Twitch Prime, man, and I uh, I missed the cannon. Rip. F in the chat. So, I am I am um, playing these games on Twitch. Testing it on Twitch. So, if you see this video, make sure to hop by my stream. I stream live every day. Twitch.tv slash Fox Wooden 2. Um, let's see. Karen isn't fighting very much. He's just kind of chilling. I'm fine with that. Look at the range I can engage from, by the way. So when I challenge somebody, so basically when I hit with my W. He was zooming. <laughs> it's just PB. I don't know what goes on in the PB world, okay? Like, I don't control this. This is kind of weird. I'll place the word. If you placed a ward, I could have maybe helped. Oh, he already has two vision scores, so maybe he doesn't have a ward up. Because I just shoved in, right? Anyways, um, first time we're going to build into is Everfrost. It's going to give us ability power. It's just going to give us uh, mana. And it's going to give us the ability haste. Plus another way to disengage or to stick on top, on top of somebody. Oh, the, the Garen pressed F for my cannon? Oh, okay. Guess that makes sense. <laughs> Back up my mana ball. We farming. By the way, if we take, like, melee trades as an AP Zen against something like Garen, we get wrecked early. It's really about the poke scaling up to, like, Everfrost, and then we start doing a ton of damage. Start being super annoying. I have passive healing, so taking the, like that little damage right there, that's not too bad. Mm, let's just shove this in. Oh, he actually stayed. I missed my, um, a W. He's level 6. Oh. Wow, my W actually killed him by itself. Come on, man, I... Jungler's flaming me. 
I make a big outplay on the Garen and I get flamed for it. Feels bad. You're saying a good Garen would wreck me? I mean, the Garen can't really trade into me though. Like, I can play from range, and I have Phase Rush, too. So I think I'd be perfectly fine. Alright, let's, uh, let's grab Boss Chapter. I have TP still. If only the Garen had TP, yeah, we're up. Oh, can I? Ooh. I'm seeing opportunities. We take those. Yeah, I got that cannon. War. Alright, let's go top. I'm gonna grab Kindle Gem for a little bit of ability haste. I like that Everfrost gives me a lot of health, too. Just so I can be a little bit more durable for when I do go in. It's really nice. Y'all saw homie. I did commit my my TP for that, so. Uh, I'm still heading to CS, although I think he gets a play. I get a kill, though. What was that animation for when he took the play? Oh my god. Come on. Ugh. So I W'd and messed up all those minions. I wonder if the challenge indicator would show up if I hit him in the bush there. So I've been going um, E max next. What do you guys think for an AP Zen build? So E has the AP ratio, Q doesn't, but Q gets reduced cooldown um, the more points you put into it. So what do you guys think um, I should do? E or Q max next after W? I think W max first is like obvious. It's my highest damage ability and it scales up AP too, which is really nice. And it gets a reduced cooldown. I'm not sure what um what to go after. Both E and Q seem kind of meh. E for damage, Q for the the CDR. Hmm. So I'm just gonna poke him like that. I didn't even have to ulti there. But my ulti does have 110% AP ratio, so my ulti there would have done 145 damage plus 15% current health. So use on like a full HP target would be a lot of damage, right? I like that Zintel's passive gives him the healing even when like attacking turrets. I got my Everfrost, so I'm gonna back for it. So Everfrost is gonna give me another nuke. So it's 125 damage plus 35% of my AP magic damage. It's gonna be quite a lot. Uh, I'm gonna grab a, a Farsight. Uh oh. Oh no, the... Oh no, Leona Rum 2. Oh, it's so doomed. I've tried rushing Nashers. Nashers, it's not a good item for this like, for for Zin right now. I don't think, not as a rush at least, because um you really need that ability haste to rotate through your Ws more often. You'll see what I mean, uh, in a minute. But um like rotating through the Ws as quickly as possible is like optimal for dealing DPS and like. Getting to choose your engagements in a fight. So as nice as like an on-hit AP build sounds, like for, for damage, it really doesn't deal as much damage as you'd think. And you're too squishy. I'm just gonna shove this in. Pink 
Gunther. That engage range is so nice. Look at that. So I, so I W'd, E-N, get the two Qs, and then get another W. I had my Everfrost on the wrong... But if I added Everfrost there, I could add in even more damage on that trade. And Everfrost is only 20 seconds. Hold on. Blasted. The warrior spirit is never broken. See what I mean? Like <laughs> I can I can get out of ganks pretty easily, so I'm not just like full on all in like Zen used to be. And look how fast I'm rotating through these abilities. I, I just got three W's there. And when I get something like a Cosmic Drive added in too, it's going to be really nice. I think I denied that minion with that W. And look at the engage range with the E when I hit my W. It's really nice. Look at that. Like, I just zoomed in from 1100 range. There's not a lot of champions that can engage in from 1100 range. It's actually such an insane engage range. I'm a champion that can play from like 1000 range. So, yeah. It's, um, it's pretty nuts. So... Here's what I've been thinking for like a, like a mage setup. And you guys can agree or disagree or whatever. But I've been liking going into um, Cosmic Drive next. Because Cosmic Drive gives me even more ability haste. And it would give me that move speed constantly. As well as giving a little bit of health. So, so when I do go in, I'm not just getting insta-killed. Really nice. Mmm, yeah, turf on him. I mean, my also is going to do work with the Zack and Galia knockups, even if he's feeding, so. <laughs> Look at that! It only gets worse for him, too. Like, I just got three W's on him. Like, look at that combo, and it's, like, all basically unavoidable. And this is a Garen. And he's got Bramble, which is good, because my W does physical damage, right? So, he, it's a Garen. He's decently tanky. It's just, he really can't do much. Oh, on here. This. I couldn't move. Oh, I, I TP'd on a trap, that's why. I ever frost cooldowns pretty low. So I got the mountain and got that Kate. That's decent TP, I would take those. So, I'm gonna grab this, I'm gonna sell my biscuit. I'm gonna get more ability haste on top. And I think the CDR boosts do really well. You don't want to build Sork Boots, because your W and your ult do physical damage, right? So Sork Boots don't make sense. It's just your E and your Everfrost to do magic. Um, I don't like Riftmaker. I don't like Nashers. I like playing from range. You, you literally play like a Spellcaster. It's just like, it's like akin to like a e, like a Q Max Silas, but the Q actually deals damage. And, um, yeah, it's just kind of cool. The Wave Flare is there, too. 
And with this build, the Frost, I get enough mana. I have my uh, mana flow band. I got phase rush too. And yeah, 60 second cooldown my ultimate right now. So I have a frost on such a low cooldown, I could literally use it for extra wave card too. Kind of like a Diana top style? Yeah, I guess. Diana definitely has more burst. I mean, I say that, but then I just do this. Oh, I missed my W. I, I forgot that turret was up. Go away, just dive in turrets. Let me back. So, we're getting a cosmic drive, I think. Maybe like a Lich Beam would be good. They also made it with this update that the W can crit. So, let me know down in the comments below if you'd like to see a crit Xin Zhao build next. I think this is going to be the most fun update for, for this champ in a while. And for all Xin Zhao mains out there, like, your years of mating the champion are going to lead to something pretty good, in my opinion. Let's add, uh, see, I just have Lich Bane. I've got 90 ability haste. That's 47% cooldown. And uh, having the 10% move speed, too, would be pretty nice. So right now I'm at 200 ability power, so I'm getting that, uh, I'm getting 23 move speed just all the time. And uh, I'm getting 40 ability haste from this item. Am I reading that right? 20 ability haste plus the spell dance. If you have at least 160 ability power, you gain 20 ability haste and move speed. I mean, that's pretty nuts. I mean, look at this. I'm just clearing. Yeah, Lich Bane is going to be definitely easy to cycle. I wonder if... I don't know. I don't know about AP since out jungle. I think the true speed is going to be too low. I missed all of my W's, man. Shit. I missed all my W's, and I missed my Everfrost because you eat it. Uh, okay, maybe I need some... Maybe I need, like, an Oblivion Orb. Wait, what's Oblivion Orb work off of? Oh, this is only magic damage. Uh, I mean, I, I do apply it with my E and my Everfrost. Unkillable Yone. Uh, I mean, I'm playing like a, like kind of like a backline build. I just like, see, that's the thing. If I full on commit with this build, it could be bad. But if I play trades into the all in, it could be pretty good. Normal Zin would have killed the Yone there. True. But the thing about a normal Zin build with like, like, like a Trinity Force or whatever, is that you're committed to the all in. You go in, and that's your only play style, and I think that's bad. I think going in as the only play style for a champion is not the best. I say that as a trainer remain, but, you know. Having versatility in what you can do is, is really nice. I'm, I'm gonna go Lich Bane. It's gonna give me a bunch of extra damage. Oh, 
Oh my god, I missed. My damage against Yone is lacking. I think I'm best in a team fight situation. The 1v1 against a duelist like like um Yone isn't going too well. Zanya? Yeah, I could go Zanya. Give me a little bit more durability. More ability haste. This is the, um, I think the second or third build I've tried on him. And it feels like it's the best. It feels the best. Oh, this guy went, he's going into MR, but all my damage is physical. I think it's the, the Yone is the only issue for me because he has so much healing, right? He does so much damage too. So I need to avoid Yone and Sideline. Because Yone can commit pretty hard with his E and his ultimate too. Uh, let's see, we're almost to our Lich Bane. Lich Bane's gonna add a lot of extra damage. We've got a bunch of utility, a bunch of um, ability haste with our build right now. And we'll get Death Cap out for a thing. I think building it to damage rather than the Zanya is gonna be better. So which main death cap? Shut down. I was thinking about Night Harvester on um on Zen 2. Only thing I have against Night Harvester isn't give that mana. By the way, what is my healing? 219 health. That seems pretty nuts. I have TP. Um, I don't have a TP worth getting there. Plus, I'm about to buy this, right? Buy this, buy Pink Ward. We can force the Baron. I can face Tank Baron forever. Because of uh, my feeling. Seems like a decent fight for us to take. Oh my god. Wow, what an engage. That was really good for my team. We can get Baron for sure off that. We gotta be worried about like Yone literally pentacling us. But yeah, that was a, that was a wombo for sure. Ah, uh, they surrendered. Alright, GG. Alright, let me know what you think of the build down in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. And uh, I'll see you guys next time. Make sure to like and subscribe. It really helps out, guys.